Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is Teacher Rika once again, and today I'll be teaching you how I set up my microphone, which is Boya BYM1000, with its peripherals needed in order to make it work. So in one of the videos that I have uploaded in my channel, I made an, an unboxing review about Phantom Power 48V, which is very much needed in order to make this condenser microphone work. So what I have with me is a Phantom Power 48V with its adapter. Take note that it should be 220 volts in order to make it work. Uh, other sellers are selling 110 volts, so you have to be very careful in choosing. Otherwise, it may explode when you plug. By the way, the setup that I'll be sharing with you today is a setup ideal for MacBook Air users. So, please do not forget to list down the things that we need. First is the Phantom Power 48G, which I have already explained earlier. And then the second one, of course, is your Boya BYM1000 condenser microphone. And take note, when you buy this one, it doesn't have a stand with it. So you have to buy a stand of your preference. Mine is a desktop type, which I prefer using because I have a table which is just uh, a desktop level. So that's my preference. Included in the package when you buy the microphone, is of course the male to female XLR cable. So this is what you're going to connect with the microphone here. So you see the bottom part of the microphone is what you will connect with the first one. Let's try connecting this. I'll show you. This will take a little time but I hope you'll be patient in watching because I'll really demonstrate how it is uh, set up. There. It's already, it's, <laughs> it's already connected. Uh, okay, so this time, let's uh, put our uh, XLR cable to our Phantom Power 48V. Take a look. The XLR to the output of our Phantom Power. So we only have one end remaining, which is the 3.5mm audio jack which we will plug or we will put into our sound card later on. At this point, we will now be connecting our cables in our sound card. Mine is Lexing, the sound card V8, which my husband bought for me from I don't know what shop. <laughs> uh, it has different knobs and different controls that you can play with. So the other side are the different uh, hubs that you will place your audio cables. So when you buy this one, it already contains three different cables. Two of which are uh, our audio cables, which you will connect with your cell phone and with, with your MacBook. If what you're if you're going if you're using a MacBook. My in my case I'm using a MacBook so this is what I'll connect with. The other cable that is included is a charging cable. So three cables all in all. Okay. So let's first work with the charging cable. So the charging cable is also uh, placed under the charging hub. So this is how I do it. Okay. Charging hub. All right. Next to connect is the first audio cable, which you will place under backing track. Okay. Why backing track hub? It's because this is what you will connect in your laptop, especially if the music that you will be playing is from the laptop. Let's say you'd like to open a, a song from YouTube and then play it in your laptop and then you will hear it from your uh, headphone or earphone. So this one will be connected to the laptop. So I'll place it here. I hope you're seeing. There. So again, back track, backing track hub to the laptop. Here. Back track to the laptop. 
And then the last cable, which is another audio cable, uh, the end is also a 3.5 millimeter jack. But I placed my lightning auxiliary for my uh, iPhone, uh, which uses lightning end. This one is what I'll place either under Live 1 or Live 2 because it's where I'm going to record the video. Okay. So let's say I'll use Live 1. Okay, And then I'm ready. The next one is uh, the 3.5mm audio jack coming from our Phantom Power 48V. Okay. Remember this? from our 48 uh, phantom power 48v this is what you will connect under condenser microphone this one dynamic mic is i think used for electric guitars and other microphones that may fit i'm not sure uh, but ideally i would see some tutorial videos that use electric guitar plugged under dynamic microphone area for the sound cards okay and we're ready and then the last end from our live one will now be connected to the cell phone for video recording purposes take note that we're not yet done we still have the headset to connect okay this headset should have a 3.5 millimeter end which you will also place under headphones so when you place it here automatically the mic feature of your headphones will be disabled you will not be able to use the microphones of this anymore okay and then put it there and you're ready to hear your music from your laptop and you may also get ready singing your song or you may record whatever you'd like to record Alright, so once you have already connected everything, you are now ready to use your Boya BY-M1000 condenser microphone. But then again, it's all about preferences. You may, you may buy any other condenser microphones of your preference, of your choice. You are now ready to cover the songs of your choice and you'd be able to enjoy the features of this microphone according to your preference as well. Thank you for tuning in or for watching. I hope you've learned something today that you may use if you prefer to buy this microphone, this type of condenser microphone. Have a good day. Please don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel.